Hello everyone, welcome back to Alchius Plays Bolt Hunters Sky Vault. I'm Alchius, this is my Sky Vault, and I've done a bit of building, as you can see. Not a hugely, like, ostentatious thing, but here we are. We've got some things over here. So the idea of all of this was that I've got somewhere to pipe to whenever I've got some production going on, like the cactus, like the still ugly golem farm over there. That's going to involve pipes, and it's going to involve probably a better storage mod. This is just chests, right? And they're not particularly well sorted. This one's full of veggie stuff, but, you know, there's, there's an assortment of things in each one. So maybe we want to look at the drawers mod as well. Because that's a really good one. That's basically a staple. You can't live without drawers. Uh, and to do that, we're going to have to do some more vaults. So let's see what this thing wants from us and see if we need to build any more farms. Probably about time that it demanded of us a mob farm, don't you think? And also, I'm not sure if this button works, so we'll find out. I think we need a moss farm. I don't even seem to have any moss blocks. I thought I had loads. Wrong chest. Found it. So a moss farm, we can do. It's not hugely difficult. Uh, but it does involve maybe a lot of pistons. It involves some construction. Maybe we can do that today. Let me plan this and let's get started on it, actually. We could probably put it there, right? We don't need these platforms anymore. Yeah, good idea. So the two sort of principles of making a, a moss farm is that, first of all, if you use a piston to push moss at something that the piston can't move, i.e. obsidian, you can also apparently just use a furnace, something that won't move when the piston pushes it. The moss gets broken. Um, if you were to do that with something like stone, it just doesn't do anything. But the moss itself will pop off, so you... You can automate breaking it in that respect. And the way you can automate making it is this will actually work, even though it's not touching, as far as I understand. If you bone meal this, the stone will turn into moss and assorted other things. <laughs> um, but combining these, if you were to now push, for example, this, so the piston will push the stone, which will push the moss, which will break. Okay. So if you can automate this going backwards and forwards, and stone appearing here, and this being bone mealed, then that's basically it for a moss farm. And there's several examples on the internet which go even further than this. They will collect the moss, they will compost spares, they will wash away all this stuff, turn it into fuel. There's lots of you can do with this. I'm going to keep it simple for now. Uh, and just, whoa, <laughs> okay, it's going to turn the grass into moss as well, apparently. Um, I'm going to keep it simple for now, and just allow it to be a moss maker. The part of what's going on here is that eventually the pistons just won't be able to push any more of these. But, of course, what we can do is put the obsidian or furnaces down. And that means that these ones, which are now short, will start getting the opportunity to grow again. I'm not really sure why this happens at different rates. I'm fairly sure it shouldn't, but it's just moss in it. <laughs> I don't know who cares? It'll sort itself out, I guess. And if it doesn't, we can figure out what we've done wrong and fix it. So this is the first bit. We've got an extruding of seven strips of stone. That seems good. And then we can manually put moss on this if we really want to. So if we were to bone meal this... Boom. Moss, etc. And then we can turn it on again to fill up the grass area. So I'm going to leave this here because there's only so much moss that we actually need. Um, oh, that's noisy. But we can put down, you know, a composter or two to give us a supply of bone meal to continue the job with.
Yeah, okay, look, so I moved it down because I wanted this to be the stone layer, and you can see that when there's actually something to do, the lava has to flow back. So that explains why the middle row gets done first, and the ones on the outside get done last because the lava doesn't have time to flow. Interesting. That finished. Maybe we can think about doing a vault. <laughs> I only did that because the vault crystal wanted moss. And I gave the vault crystal moss, so it doesn't need any. But, you know, job done. Well done. Okay, I've been double-guessing myself a lot. Because I'm looking at power now. The mod power. Which looks like this. Which is why I'm saying it like that. Um, It costs five research points. It comes with its own power transfer system and it's changed a lot since I last looked at it. We don't have to jump straight into reactors, I believe. Power. It looks like there's, you know, there's an energy cell, which is a battery. There's a furnator. So I'm kind of hoping you can just put, you know, coal into. I'm not certain. This is the other trouble. I'm not 100% certain how it works. But if we went for this and it works how I want it to, you know, it's it's... It's only five right now. If we were to do what I was going to say we should do, which is to get iron generators for one, that would put power up to flipping 11, right? It turns the power up to 11. That's ridiculous. Whereas if we spent five in the first place, we also wouldn't need pipes because we could get Xnet for four. We could save up four plus five, nine, or one plus one, two, and then plus six, plus five, just to get the next layer. Or we could just save up for that first layer. I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to do a vault and see how I feel about it at the end. Because we've earned ourselves a vault crystal. Does this power that? Yes. Woohoo! Let's take this, let's go in, and see how we feel about the whole thing on the other side. One thing I am fairly sure about whilst doing all of this is that draws is definitely going to be in our future. How much is this costing? I keep pressing K. Draws is one. It's entirely possible that the correct thing to do is unlock drawers first. Even though I said, woo yay, let's unlock pipes first. If we want to unlock Xnet and power, that will skip us way ahead in the tech tree. It's just going to be a while. <laughs> and I don't think that the plus five cost of pipes is worth getting cactus from there and iron from there. into here yet right we can do that later storing you know a hundred of these compressing all of that into one block it's going to be way more useful and we can see what we're doing so i think we should do that i know what i said <laughs> i keep changing my mind a gentle reminder that i do have a quest um not only do i have a quest in the sense of the quest book but i have a bounty and the quest is to do the bounty we're still at four of nine Rutadite ore, and I did update, so I'm not getting double counted anymore. I think I mentioned that, but I thought I'd just sort of reiterate in case anybody was confused. Ooh! Secrets. Oh well. I appear to be devoid of vault state, so let's take carrots. See what we win. Ah! Monoliths. My favourite. Please let there be Rutadite in here. We've got all of our um, bags ready to go, which is good. Hopefully, we can just smash things. What did we put on here? Gilded and wooden. There's one right in the middle. Oh. Good start. Not sure there's likely to be lava in this place, although maybe honey? We brought up... Oh, where's my thing? That case, <laughs> whoops, but also let's do that. Ah, we wanted to unlearn the um piercing of this, didn't we? We should do that afterwards. Uh, do you remember what we said? First of all, don't, <clears throat> don't forget to mark your way. Oh, I didn't bring my hey, where's my well, that's annoying. It wasn't in my... I'm so used to my wardrobe telling me exactly what I needed to know. Like containing everything that I 
need to get out of here. Is that the exit? No. That I didn't notice that it didn't have everything I wanted. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what my buckets were replacing. I knew they were replacing something. I couldn't tell you what. And now I'm completely disorientated. I guess we all just use something. What we can use, in fact, is stone. <laughs> There's more than enough of that in my life. Pete would like me to point out that it was his idea in the first place. He's correct. When I said um, that we should avoid looting the first room and then we can come back when we're running out of time and you know have something to do, I did steal that idea from Pete, <laughs> who we've been playing on stream with. If you are um, unfamiliar with the streams that we're doing, they're on hiatus at the moment because I'm having terrible lag issues as a result of I don't know what, but it started when we updated to version 9, so we've got a certain amount of uh, investigation to be doing to figure that one out. Out of mana already, that's crazy. I can imagine that it's... Um, likely to be related to how much I'm using the javelin. So maybe we can uh, ease up on that. I don't know whether I should use the full mana pedestal now because I'm low on mana or wait until it being low on mana is actually a big deal <laughs> when when I'm dying horribly. Oh, don't forget you've got this um, healing vial as well. Doesn't even make a noise. That's weird. I know I should probably remember this myself. It would be nice if it told me whether I can actually break the chest correctly or not. Hey, where's my sickle? Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible bot. I've been completely unprepared because I relied on the switching mechanism of the the wardrobe, but I didn't actually check that my wardrobe was correctly configured, so that was my mistake. How badly do we want to actually win this ball, you suppose? Not, uh, like, how poor of a win do we want it to be. Honestly, if we fail this vault and run away, I wouldn't be too salty. Too many slimes. Ah. And those new creepers with their... No, those new zombies with their creeper noises. Terrifying. Ooh, there's an idol. There you are. Ah. Should be one over here. That is. Nothing. No baddies. Great. Did I already get it? No. Why does it slow down? We are looking for knowledge points. Ah, raw carbon as well. Um, but knowledge points is going to be a big one. So I think we're still. Um, hooked up with living vault hunting skills. If I were to press, for example, backslash, living vault, living chest. Uh, right, any? <laughs> I believe that would have told me about them. Who did I please? Benny is also helpful. But yeah. Oh, look at that. There's like three in there. Oh! That was the Wu to die lodestone. That was mother mother load lodestone. Right, we've done the thing, so now we can hand our question as well. It's only ten minutes left, and I've got two. Well, not this left to find. Uh, granted, I haven't really been focusing them down, but sort of, uh, got used to them being a little bit more prevalent. Honestly. Hmm. Lots of cool POIs, but they're all wooden chests. Which is crazy. I think. Hmm. 
Oh, that's hard, isn't it? Oh, look, that's him. Couldn't see the indication of the living chest. Because. <laughs> it's already telling me. Like, it was so bright in front of me that I couldn't see. Hello. He's <laughs> hiding. It's not hide and seek, mate. I'm starting to think that the knockback of the javelin is <laughs> more valuable than the damage. So being able to damage multiple enemies by accident is not as valuable as being able to get the enemy that's in your face out thereof. Especially when it's a spider. <laughs> so in that situation, I can see the value of the uh, piercing javelin, but that is such a rare situation. Should we go home? Maybe. I think we should. With four minutes, we should... Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, just try to greed the first room. We left a lot of it on purpose. What? <laughs> Where am I? How did I get here? I'm not doing this for two minutes left, but I'm now lost. Uh, apparently, I was not correctly following my... Did we just go straight through that room, or... What, is, what have I done? So I went through a room that had... a marker in it. <laughs> now I, now I haven't, I've been through a room I've never been to. Look. Where we go? In north to south. I just watched. Surely not. This is why you keep kiwis, by the way, in your backpack. Let's get them out. It's going to be more useful to have kiwis there than the vault stone. Because I don't need to mark my way home. I need to find my way home. I notice it doesn't have a. Ooh. I don't remember this. <laughs> but that might be because I turned at some point and didn't notice. So this might be my first room. It is. Oh, how did I do that? I must have turned left at some point and then gone, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be going south. <laughs> See, this is that's what the vault compass is good for if you want to spend the money on it. Um, avoiding situations like that. But we avoided it with our own skill and judgement, so well done everybody! Level up. Got an expertise point out of that, so we can pick one of these if we want to. Well, we do want to, but I don't want to do it now. It doesn't help when you lose your soul power. Ah, everything's in here. Even my spare vault state. That's rubbish. Oh well. Alright, let's see what we won. Let's see what we won. That is not auspicious. Money spine. Ah, some gems. We like gems. So yeah, that's a decent, decent gem. We did ask for a pulverizing gem. This apparently will help us get more vault rock from the vault stone. Shoveling could be useful at that size. 12 size soul bound. Again. Yeah, maybe. We've got a lot of gems, so we don't need to keep too many. But actually, I like all the ones we got here. Except for the fact that we got a uh, duplicate shoveling, so I don't care about Larimar is very useful, considering what we're about to try and <laughs> unlock. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost a lot. These mods cost a lot. So plus two health is nice, but the other one has the increased damage, which I do like a lot. And it's just got more stuff, so... Even if we rolled this one to get an em the, the empty suffix filled, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't come close, I think. It may be worth thinking about mana. It's not quite as good armor. We do run out of mana a lot recently. That's not good English. We have been running out of mana a lot recently. We get more damage, we get more mana, we lose healing efficiency, but I don't really know what that does. <laughs> so we lose one armor. I think this one, I prefer this one actually. More mana on this as well. 
But I like that we can think about using this one soon, actually. Is soon now? The one we got equipped that's about to break has had an empty suffix this whole time. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, that's rubbish. Put our fried egg on. Now. I think an aqua affinity might be useful because we do find POIs underwater, don't we? Yeah. So we need a better way of storing our jewels. You'll recall that I didn't move this because it's it's now completely full, right? Um, I don't know what that is, actually. In all fairness, I don't actually know the best way of storing jewels except to just put them on your tools and not worry about it because then they're gone. But once in my life, I've actually not got enough space <laughs> in my hotbar. Okay, now that it's nice and quiet, we can talk. Let's enact our plan, which is basically the same as everybody else's plan. Is <laughs> you get, you get, you get draws. Um, it's really, really good. Okay, I'm sorry, but it, it's just. It's going to solve so many of these problems. It's not just the fact that you can fit so much in them and, you know, collapse some of these stacks that are overflowing our chests. It's the fact that you can dump everything into all the drawers at the same time using a draw controller, which we'll look at. If you're not familiar, we'll have a look at how this all works. The idea of then going for Xnet and um, Power at 5 plus 4 instead of Pipes is not standard, I think. Many people will probably go for something simple like pipes or, um, you know, increase the double pouches or something like that, um, which costs us three, by the way. It's not cheap already. Or maybe play with Create. If we were in a non-Skyblock world, I would probably play with Create because that's exactly what we did in our uh, server, which is currently not working But for me. But, you know, doing things differently, we're going to try something else. We have probably got plenty of knowledge essence at this point, so we can let's have a look what we can afford and just let's just keep doing vaults and save up for this. It's not a common way of doing it, but I want the economy of it. It's perfect. Rather than, you know, just doing things the standard way just because it's there to be done. Oh, yeah, we won our um thing as well, do you remember? I didn't press it long enough. Nine of nine we could I or which means we go over here, we go claim reward, we've got Finally, a uh, whole bunch of chromatic steel. Oh, thank you so much. And emeralds and gold. That's nice. Um, but we also want our quest. We can complete this quest, which gives us the reroll pearls, pearls, which we've been talking about before. Uh, put some things away, and we'll move on. Elixir vault. Apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal. So this is a, a new thing. Semi-new thing. It's not that new. But it's new to this series because I haven't done it before. This here seal allows us to force a vault crystal that we make to have the uh, objective of Elixir Rush, which is the one we like. We know we like Elixir vaults. You can craft them. They're not terribly expensive. I may have mentioned this before when we found blank seals the first time. You apply this to a crystal and it ensures that the crystal that you make will be an elixir bolt. So if you need a certain objective, maybe from a bounty or something, you can you know, influence whether it happens or not to some extent. Find nine volt meat for... Actually, this could be good. I like the repair core. Yeah, let's take that. Actually. Or we'll forget. Um, so now we can force ourselves... Well, force ourselves. Select for ourselves an elixir bolt. If we want to, which we may do at some point. Hello, other cat. So it wants us to apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal. Tells you how to do it, combining it in an anvil. Okay. So let's uh, let's make ourselves a vault crystal, and then I promise we will start doing something with drawers, snowballs. I did say we should make a snowball generator, did I not? <laughs> Probably we should. Eight. I died. <laughs> Complete a god altar. We can do that. That's a vault. We just need to do a vault. Here's a vault. We'll put this here for now. And look at uh, let's look at some storage drawers. I think here might be a good place to put 
few of them. Okay, let's have a look at this. Your basic part of storage drawers is your single drawer. It's a log and then some gubbins. I've put some more chromatic iron on to cook because we're going to use a lot of it. Whatever log you use in the middle determines the drawers that you get. There are other types of drawers. There's a 1x2. There's a 2x2. Two two. These are all the same recipe. So here you can um, select what you get. Now, as the, the difference between them is that they all hold the same amount of actual items. Now, a drawer itself can only hold one type of item. You can hold, as you can see, 32 stacks in it. This one holds 16 stacks per drawer, which is the same number of items in total. You can hold two different types, and then this one is 8 stacks per drawer. So you can put four things in the single block, 8 stacks of each in it. I'm going to make a standard one for now. I'll put it down. Draw. Easy. So what you want to do, you want to take anything that you've got a ridiculous amount of, bring it over here, right click it, there is now 64 volt scrap as you can see in our tooltip, double right click, all of it goes in. Shift right click, you can open the UI, there are 339 volt scrap in this block. That can hold 32 stacks. So we can build a bunch of these, and instead of putting them in here, once they start taking up too much space, put them in there. The other thing we can think of doing is that if anything um, doesn't take up that much space, but it would be helpful to have it available, that's when you might want to use a 2x2 two two draw. So, for example, some of these bones, some of these apples, things we have not a huge amount of, maybe these blessings, you know, there's not a huge amount of them. They're a stack each, it doesn't, like, it's, they're not overflowing. But if we wanted to sort of grab one out of a drawer and see them on display, which is what this is nice for, you know, a whole bunch of drawers. Everything on display. Chef's kiss. Now, let's pick that back up again. If you surround any type of drawer with sticks, you get a framed drawer. So the way a framed drawer works is you put it in the bottom right here of your 2x2. Two two. You can use a 3x3, three three, but it only needs 2x2 two two space. And whatever blocks you put in it, that's the textures it'll take. But you have to put at least two... Well, maybe one block, actually. At least uh, one block to cover the whole thing, maybe. And then, yeah, two blocks to choose other parts of it so you can see if i do this i just get the whole thing as spruce log it's not just spruce log it's the bark and if i use the strip log that will do the the trim of it and this side will do the face of it so i can put stone here for example get stone wood and another wood that looks okay I wonder if you can retexture it you can so if you don't like it you can experiment it does use up the blocks but that's okay so we put this down Kinda looks like a strong box actually, I quite like it. Um, so what we can do here is we can use different textures to, to fill in the place, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's off camera work. The other thing we're going to want to make is a draw controller, and I'm saying it in that tone of voice because anybody who's been here before knows what's wrong. I need a pog. We can probably make the black chromatic steel ingots, although they are a perfect black opal and eight chromatic steel ingots each. That's a bunch of searching. Pog is one of each special type of gem. Let's see if we've got them. So we're missing Cubium and Iscalium. So we're not going to be able to make this until we find them, but also we're not going to be able to make it until we have way more black opals and stuff. But it's nice at the start. Um, and the reason is that if you have a, uh, an inventory full of stuff, you can just double right click on all of your drawers, put everything you've got in your inventory into them. If you have a draw controller, you can double right click on the controller and it will distribute all connected drawers within, I think, a 12 by 12 by 12 square radius. So a cube with that in the middle, which is brilliant. So that's why it's expensive. And also it's Vault Hunters and it hates you. There's another type of drawer I should mention, which is the compacting drawer. And of course it needs chromatic steel. What well, doesn't? Um, but I've saved over this one. So it's two extraordinary Larimar per one of these. So they're not... Excuse me, so they're not cheap. Maybe I should put a trapdoor on that. Um, but here we go. Our compacting drawer is different in its way. You can frame this as well, I'm just not going to do it right now. For certain things that are quite pesky, like for example dirt, you put a compressed block of dirt in the top here, and that's going to go all the way up to the top. Let's start with dirt. Put all the dirt in there, and now we can get 2x dirt from up here. Right? All gone. That's a 1x. Go in. Ta da! So these are good for things like that. And then there's one more thing, or two more things, which are keys. There we are. So a draw key 
allows you to lock the door. That means if you take everything out of it, let's try something we've got less of. I take everything out of it, it's now empty. Uh, okay, don't do it like that. <laughs> you take everything out of it and then don't unlock it like a fool. Can I even look in this? There we go. There's nothing in it, but it knows it's andesite. That was a palaver. Uh, and then the quantify key, which I've not made yet, simply tells you how many items there are in the drawer. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this, but I recommend this because when you pull everything out of it, you, you're going to be glad that the system knows where it should have been when you put more back in. Okay, we can pipe into these as well. So when we do get a piping system, easy. We can pipe into the draw controller, which is even better, which I guess I could put right here. Right? Anyway, we'll talk about that when it becomes relevant, but right now, not a lot I can do. So let's leave it. You may even make a chromatic iron pick join all those quests. So I thought, why not make a general purpose sort of overworld tool with shoving and axing can use the largest jewels that I've got here. And you can see now I'd have 27 capacity left. You don't have to do the adding up yourself. Amazing. Um, it seems like a good idea. And we are going to lose fairly soon the one that's going into our vaults with us. You know, it's only got so much durability left. We can repair it. It's got one repair dot. You can see that. So if we needed to, we could. Um, if we wanted to preserve the jewels that we put on it already. And being only level 15, we've got quite a long way to go before we can unlock the next tier of tools, which are going to be chromatic iron, uh, chromatic steel, of course. <laughs> Everyone's favourite. Why haven't I got any of it? So, oh, I've got 10, actually. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not worried about, you know, wasting this, but I am worried about wasting that one. So, maybe we repair it, use one of our repair cores. We'll see. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Next episode, I hope to have already fixed these off camera for you because they're a little bit all over the place, but we have a long way to go to enact our crazy plan of getting two of the like, second tier expensive mods before we get any of the simple mods. So we're going to have to do a lot of vaults. There's going to be a lot of vaults next episode, I hope, provided that the vault altar is kind to us and lets us actually make them without a week of <laughs> constructing farms. We've got our cactus farm, we've got our moss farm. Anyway, this has been the end of this episode. I hope you'll join me next week. I've been Notches, this has been my Skyblock, and I'll see you next time.